Hi, Scorpio. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to cleanse my mind, but I think I'm feeling this deep, 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 deep despair. And as I'm going into your video, I'm thinking to myself, I hope this isn't what Scorpio is feeling this week. Just this absolute gutted feeling of no matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, even when I see that there's a little uptick, it's almost like, it's almost like spirit is messing with me because it's almost just like leading me on because things crash right afterward and they're not getting any better. So I'm hoping to God that's not what you're going through, but it's, it's definitely what I'm channeling. So, um, welcome to Born Without Boundaries, Scorpio. This is all about you for November 1st to the 7th of 2019. This is your Oracle and Tarot card reading for general energy, sun, moon, and rising, Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising, um, or any, any position that you have Scorpio in, in your natal chart, if you know how to apply these energies, these are the Scorpionic energies for this week. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, Scorpio, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, um, I ring that bell so that you know when I upload content and when I go live, which is actually Monday through Friday between 8 and 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, for the daily tarot card reading and open question and answer. And if you are on platform, Scorpio, that allow for commercials, there's going to be one in a couple of seconds. I appreciate your patience sitting through it. It's actually a donation to the channel. So uh, I'm, I, I want to express my gratitude right now. I'll be right back. Okay, if you just sat through an awkward pause, at least you didn't have to watch a commercial. <laughs> uh, uh, but if you uh, did watch a commercial, once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm just going to just dive right in because it's what I need to do. I need to do that to, right now. Scorpio energies for November 1st to the 7th of 2019. Message for Scorpio uh, for November for November 1st to the 7th of 2019. Message for Scorpio for November Message for Scorpio for November 1st to the 7th of 2019. Message for Scorpio. Okay. That's the crowding energy. So it is your sense of self this week. And honestly, what that means, and that's telling me the channeled message, it's got nothing to do with you. Whatever it is, it's only me. Because what this means is you have a strong sense of self. You have a strong sense of self and a strong sense of feeling like everything that you are is going right or a renewed sense of confidence in who you are and confidence in your future. And Scorpio, you are bringing me up with this feeling of renewed confidence. Remember who you are. Remember who you are, Simba. Remember who you are. And I think that that's, this, that's the energy this week of no matter how low I go or no matter how bad I feel, I am going to remember who I am. And if anybody questions who I am or if anybody tries to forget who I am, they're going to get a big you-know-what taste of who I am. It's almost like I am in everybody's face. You are not going to ignore me. I will not be ignored. That's the energy coming through straight up. I will not be ignored. You could say what you want to say. You could call me psycho. You could call me obsessive. You could call me crazy, but you damn well better call me or I'm showing up on your doorstep to remind you that I exist. Don't even get in my face about this mediocre, you know what? I am here. I am now. I deserve all your fucking focus. And if you can't give it to me, I'm knocking on your door to take it. That's what the energy is today. Such freaking confidence or such, such like you've made a decision. You've made a decision, Scorpio, to not let anybody with you. You've made a decision to not let anybody ignore you. You've made a decision to not let anybody decide your worth but you. And you've made a decision to not let anybody decide to go without you. That's the decision that you've made. You made a decision that you are too amazing and good to be said no to. 
that you have too much to offer to be pushed over or or passed over you are, you have too much to offer you are too much and if your too much is too much, then you're going to sit there in somebody's face and watch them squirm as you roar because you are not going to be diminished for somebody else's mediocrity. That is 100% what is coming through with this card. And I'm so glad that I was like, Shh, I'm not taking those other cards because everything just spilled out all freaking sloppy. And I was like, no, that's not the reading. That's a bunch of you know what. I'm just going to keep going until my cards talk right to me. And I think that that is 100% your energy this week is like, no, you need to talk right to me. And if you think I'm crazy and you think I'm psycho first, you haven't seen the half of it. And second, then get in your place that act right, then act right because you haven't seen the half of it. And I think that it's exactly what people need to be reminded of is your is is don't mess with me. For whatever reason or for however long, too many people have you know what it all over you and you're about done. And I honestly think you're like, I don't even care if I'm facing the law. It, it's not even on your mind. It's not even, it's not an intention, but it's, let's put it this way, it's not a concern. There is a sense of, um, there you go, I'm not playing around. Oh, oh my God. And this card comes out upside down in reverse. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing. Oh, you want to act like a little kid? You want to act like somebody who's just tiptoeing on the surface, tiptoeing around these things? Do you know who I am? Do you understand who I am? Let me remind you. I'm not playing. I'm about to come and eat your ass alive. That's what's happening this weekend. That's what's up. You're not playing. And this is what it is. It's in reverse. See, Sandpiper is that energy of playing in the shallows, that spirit of being light and being airy and being carefree. You are none of those things and you're not trying to be. And if you're too deep for somebody, you're going to suck them down into the shallows and watch them not breathe anymore because it's not going to be they're going to do without you. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 you're coming down with me. And you either learn how to breathe through me or you can drown. That's what it is. Like that's how, not to say that you're actually gonna do anything bad to somebody, but that's how much, that's how much confidence you have in your own self-worth this week, in your sense of, of don't tell me that I'm not right. Don't tell me that I have to change. I'm not changing for anybody and I'm not messing around. I'm, whatever shit you're, you're pulling, I'm not messing around with you. Don't even try to think that I'm playing with you. I'm not, look at me. Do I look like I'm playing with you? Does his face look like I'm playing with you? Exactly. And I think I just, like that's the energy that's coming through. 100%. You're done. You're done. You're done suppressing your darkness. Your darkness is just, you are vomiting up your darkness all over people and you don't care how disgusted or grossed out you are. You're going to sit there and say, listen, you're going to love it. You're going to love every single second of it. Don't mess around with me. Ooh, think on your feet. Somebody has been messing around with you and you're about to catch them. To catch a fox. To catch a fox. To catch somebody who was trying to trick you, trying to manipulate you. Or this feeling of every everything being set against you. And this whole idea of getting tricks, not treats. Right? It's almost like this idea of, oh, no, 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 this is my season. I get treats, not tricks. What exactly do you think you're trying to pull? Don't be foxy with me. Somebody's trying to be foxy with you, and it's not working. Use your mind wisely, Scorpio. When pigs fly, are you going to pull one over on me? You think you're going to pull the wool over my eyes? I set a trap for you. You're done. You're trapped. You're stuck. I caught you. A fox trap. You know what a fox trap is? He's going to fall through. He's going to get stuck in a hole. And that hole is where you live. That's where it is. It's down in the depth. It's, it's literally taking somebody who thought they could mess with you and pulling them down into the depths and saying, how do you like me now? How does it feel? You thought that you were superior when we were up here, but we're not up here now. This is my season. This is my time. Welcome to the underworld, bitches. How do you like me now? We've had this feeling before, and I just feel like there's just been a bunch of, because you got, you're very tender. You, you are. You're very tender hearted, and you're very sensitive, and I feel like there's this energy of, well, that hasn't gotten me anywhere, and so now you're going to get my dark side, and my dark side is something that you're probably not prepared for, and I'm going to like the fact that you're not prepared for it. Because when pigs fly, are somebody going to keep me down or sink me down? I am down. I know down. 
You're not gonna you're not gonna put me put me in a place that I already rule, in a place that I already own. I, who who it's like surrender now. So oh my god. This is the energy. This is the energy. Listen. You are giving over entirely to your dark side this week. That's what's happening. And like moths to a flame, somebody stupid enough is actually coming to you and thinking like they somehow can survive you. And whoever comes at you this week, especially if it's a fire sign, is going to get eaten alive. I have this strong sense that there is a fire sign. It could be a Sagittarius. It could be an Aries. Whatever fire sign it is, it could be a Leo. But you, for, for, uh, for example, for, for instance, you have a lot of fire energy in you, right? Because Mars used to be your ruling planet. It's not anymore. It's Pluto. But Mars used to be your ruling planet. So this still has some sort of influence over you and Mars is war. Mars is fire. Mars is, Mars is hell, fire, and fury and relentless battle. And that's still very much a part of you, but now you do it more spiritually through Pluto. But that's even more like ruthless because you tear people from the out, inside out. It's like, ha ha ha, what do you think I am? I already attacked you and you didn't even see it. You didn't even feel it. I'm inside of you. That's what it is. It's almost like it's almost like taking over their soul. That's what it is. And it's putting a fire inside of them and burning them alive from the inside out. And that's what it's going to be. It's like, I think you, you, you don't remember who you're dealing with right now. And I have been tolerant of you for the last time. I have told you how I felt. I have asked for my space. I have told you what I want. I've articulated my expectations and when pigs fly are you going to come in and try to manipulate me right here right now you better give up this is what you're saying to them very clearly i hear it i hear you saying to them surrender now you better give up now throw your hands in the air right now i'm not playing with you it's not throw your hands in the air like i just don't care i'm not playing with you you better give up now give it all up now Give it up now. Holy shit. Hell hath no fury like a Scorpio pissed off. Because it, hell itself is the fury. It is the whole fury of hell coming at you. And that is what I'm feeling. You have the energy this this week to literally just honestly I feel like you have an energy right now that you can walk away from everything that you ever thought you cared about. That's what I think. That's what I honestly think. Like you're so done with people's trifle and you know what? You have the ability to give everything away and walk away and people think you won't. People think you won't. And here's our card. Walking in a spider web. Let me think on this for a second. Because honestly, this week, I feel like you are the spider. And it's not like you're, oh, no, you set the trap for somebody, 100%. Because that's what they do. Spiders catch stupid moths who fly too close to them. That's what they do. You know, you have set a trap that's invisible to anybody. That's, that's invisible to anybody but you. You've set a trap and you're sitting in the dark and you're waiting for your next dinner. You're waiting to take the energy from people who have taken energy from you. You're waiting and your venom is locked and loaded. So just let them come. And I think it is only your last act of mercy your last act of mercy, Scorpio, that you haven't come out Scorpio style instead of spider style and just attacked with your stinger. Instead, you're sitting in ambush because it's almost like you want them to think they've won. So they go ahead and can, can, can continue to act like the fool and continue to be cocky. 
you want them to fly too close to you. You are sitting there. There's. So, I, I have to show you the cards. There is somebody who was playing serious games. Bring your ideas to life. Oh my God. This is you shocking the shit out of people. This is you ambush predator, locked and loaded, coming out of the dark and shocking people. Oh my God, I'm about to cry. I don't know, I just feel like such release because I don't, I don't think that people get, when Scorpios get this way, when they feel this way, it is, it is coming from a place of such pain. It's just such pain. The anger that a Scorpio feels is not about, you know, wow, 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 I didn't get something. It's not the anger that a Scorpio feels is when somebody has ripped your heart out. And how stupid to rip the heart out of a Scorpio because that's the only thing keeping you safe. Duh. Ooh. All this disappointment and all this hurt and all this pain, it comes into literally venom. And the only reason that you act this way is because somebody has hurt you so deeply. And it could not be a somebody. It might have been life. And so you're going to take your power. The, the energy crowning your reading is that Leo energy. Leo as in that, set, uh, that remember who you are. You have remembered who you are this week. And who you are is ultimate darkness. And it's coming out and it's about to be unleashed. Specifically toward a specific... And you will literally just rip and tear everything down. At this point, you can light your house on fire. It is almost like I'm seeing in my head that scene from... Um, you know that scene. Angela Bassett from Waiting to Exhale. She is lighting everything on fire. She does not... There's, there's nothing left in her to care right? Her heart's been completely broken and smushed all over the driveway by her ex-husband. It's a very scorpionic scene of just let everything burn, then let it burn. And I'm going to stand here and I'm going to watch it burn. And I'm going to look at the fire department that rolls up on me to try to ask me what this is about. And I'm not even going to acknowledge their answer. I'm not even going to entertain an answer because I don't care. That's the level of I'm unleashing my shalob. I'm un unleashing my hungry monster. I'm unleashing that beast that's sitting there and waiting for you. And guess what? I've already, wo I've already woven the web. You can't escape me. Your, your life is already gone. Your life is already destroyed. Overcome any obstacle. Scorpio, I honestly feel like this card is coming out because this is a very grounded, happy card. And I feel like you had to be pushed to this point because spirit wanted you to see something. They wanted you to recognize. There may have been times at this point that you have been so outside of yourself that you have missed opportunities or that you've held yourself back or you've been suppressed or you, you, you have missed opportunities. You have missed your own happiness and you've missed your own joy. You've missed your own success. You're not missing it anymore. If you need this energy to break free because you've sunken so low, because, because people have suffocated you and try to drown you and repressed you so much, you need this is like that you needed this energy to actually be able to break through because it's almost like you were in a state of self-sabotage. You were in a state of, of, of almost poisoning yourself, like taking the stinger. And in, like, in other words, the venom was building up inside of you and creating toxins inside of yourself. You were harming yourself. You were hurting your life. You were hurting your existence. You were hurting your potential. You were hurting everything about you and you were acting out. You were acting out to try to break free, but you could not break free because what, what was wrong? You were suppressing the greatest gift that you have, which is to literally poison somebody from the inside out. You don't, you don't like going full on evil on people. 
But that's the level of defense you have, isn't it? It's, it's just full on devil. And that's how the devil works, right? He entangles people from the inside out. We're water signs. You ever watch Avatar The Last Airbender? Remember Katara, who could bend water? But the dark side of that bending water means that she could also bend blood? Well, you're a bloodbender. That's what you can do. Bloodbender, Scorpio. And I think that you know that about yourself. And because your heart is actually a lot bigger than your sense of vengeance, it really is. And people don't say that, but it's absolutely true. And it's only when that heart gets smushed and broken and disappointed that what else do you have left but the darkness? That's why I say, do not break a Scorpio's heart. Don't do it. Don't betray them. Because what else do you have left? If you don't have that heart left, there's hell and there's just hellfire. There's nothing else left, right? So I think you know that about yourself. And there was a sense of, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to be this. I, I can't. I can't. I, I just, you were, you were trying and trying to protect them. You were letting the toxins build up inside of you. So this energy, this energy had to come. It had to come because it was the only way you were going to break free. This is coming and it's t the darkness is taking over you to help get you out of where you, 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 you can't be anymore. You can't be there. It is actually a toxic situation and you can't be there anymore. This is your way out. Your way out is unleashing your darkness. And it's actually a wonderful sense of relief because you need a restart. And this is a perfect time to do it. If you think of the tarot and you think of the death card, um, the death card is rebirth, right? This is the perfect time for you to completely go dark and then rise up. But you have to let it out. You have to. Because somebody stomped on you. Somebody is stopping. Somebody, a person, uh, it might not even be a person. It's a situation. And I felt it. I felt the despair. I felt the hopelessness. I felt the rage. I felt the absolute disgust. I felt the depression. I felt the, 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 the impossibility. I felt the anger. I felt the rage. I felt the, I'm going to blow sh up. I felt it. I know. I, I felt. I can feel it right now. And you need to. It needs to happen. And let it out. Let this be the week of darkness. Because this darkness is your tunnel to rebirth. Let it happen. Let it out. And everybody else who's cross watching. You better get the get out of the way. Because there's no way that they're not going to. Scorpio is not going to bowl through you this week. If you were the person who messed with them. And maybe even if you're the person who cares about them and they love you, you really just need to stand back and love them through this. You just, just stand back. Just stand back. Because they're not going to hurt themselves. They're not. They're, this is what they need to go through. It's almost like that struggle and that pain and that explosion Right, right. It's almost like, you know, Wolverine going through that pain and feeling excruciating like he's going to die when he's in the next experiment. And then he comes out with his, his like super adamantium skeleton. You know what I'm saying? It's like, this is that rebirth time when they get to come out the other side as something extremely powerful, like something that sort of incorporated the darkness. And now it's like super, super Scorpio version of themselves where they basically just owned it out loud. There has been a situation I really feel like you have been tolerating it for just too long and you're done. There's no more tolerating it. I'm going to turn around the I'm going to turn the camera on so I can review the cards with you. Hold on. Do you see this? That was the that was the first card that flipped. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean Leo energy. What it means is your sense of self, your sense of self, your sense of self is back and your sense of self includes that darkness. And that means the darkness is back. Guess who's back? Shady's back. 
back again. Shady is back again. You tried to be Marshall. You tried to be Marshall. But they kept punching, prodding, punching, prodding. Now Shady's back. Shady's back. And you are done playing. As soon as this card popped out, I heard you're done playing. Somebody done stepped on you for way too long. You're not thinking on your feet. No, because you're not playing. You're not sidestepping. Everybody thing at this point is stuck. In other words, you have literally sucked all energy out. You are a black hole this week. You have created total and complete darkness and you are ripping and tearing everything apart that you come near. Why? Because you're done. Where your heart once was, there's now a black hole. There's, I don't want to be in your wake this week. Why? Because there's just going to be nothing left. Use your mind wisely. When pigs fly, that's the message of this card this week. When pigs fly, that means you're done. When pigs fly, are you dumb mother, you know what, gonna come for me? The trap is set and like a moth to a flame, like anything on the event horizon, you are sucking them into the darkness and tearing them apart. You are literally a mad scientist recreating your world and coming out the other side as reformed and, and, and absolutely, completely unstoppable. But you needed this total destruction. You needed it. And I don't think it's happening to you. I think you're the one doing it. You're the one finally, it's, it's with the Scorpios, it's not explosion, it's implosion. Do you see all this fire? I think it has something to do with specifically a fire sign that was messing with you. And I think you tolerated it, almost like you tried to be nice. What did I say? Marshall, he tries to be nice. He tried to be nice. I'm not, okay. Now you want to push me too far. Now you're playing. You think, now you, oh, you think that my kindness is something you can, oh, Shady's back. Shady's back. Guess who's back? Shady's back. Shady's back this week. And people are going to be real sorry. That they, and like, literally this person isn't even going to exist after this week. They're not even going to exist. They're going to be fools. People are going to be laughing at them. They're going to be sh on the street. They're going to be done. No, I'm not saying that you're going to do any violence, but you're going to literally destroy this person. Everything about them, you're going to destroy it. You're going to destroy them. If this is a specific person, if this is a situation, you're going to destroy your situation. If this was a platform, you're going to destroy them. You're going to rip them apart to the point where nobody ever wants to use this platform again. You're going to rip apart, you're going to rip apart a store if a store was messing with you. If an institution of any sort was messing with you, you're going to rip them down so they don't have any reputation anymore. You're going to ruin them. You're going to destroy them. You're going to, I mean, just literally, that is your energy of just so being done. And the reason is... Because you needed to get to that point, Scorpio. You needed to come there. And I think you were avoiding it because you were afraid of what was in your wake. You don't want to hurt anybody that doesn't deserve to be hurt. But this energy is done. You're, there's, you're, you're a black hole now. You collapsed. When a sun collapses, it becomes a black hole. And it's even mightier because then it just keeps eating and eating and sucking in people and destroying and that's what you become until you come out on the other side completely remade, completely remade, where nothing can stop you. Nothing. Um, I'm going to go over to Vimeo. If this is a specific who, we're going to get to know exactly who it is, even though I think you already do know who it is. What the outcome on the other side is going to be. When will this let up? When will this subside, this energy, this week? Where will it lead? Where will you be spit out on the other side? Um, lots of questions to answer. And your romance reading. I'll see you guys over there.